love bargains the world over. You've got Boxing Day, uh, Black Friday, Midnight Madness, Shoppies, and Ilazadas, <laughs> 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and so on. But just because it's affordable doesn't automatically mean we become Daddy Warbucks. No, we're still very cautious. So, what if I were to tell you that I could offer you a car, an automatic, with better ground clearance than a sedan, with a 1.5 liter gasoline engine, and it be under 800,000 Philippine pesos? Well, it's not exactly 3450, but it is something that would surprise even Russell Peters. Stick around on this episode of Behind the Wheel to find out more about the 2024 Chang'an CS15. been in the Philippines for well, a short while now, but since late last year, they were acquired by Inchcape. Inchcape are also the same people that acquired Cats, the guys responsible for bringing in Mercedes, Jaguar, and Land Rover. So they kind of know a little something about what they're doing. And the CS15's price is one way they're disrupting the market. A quick look at the AutoDeal app, and it will confirm, yes, under 800,000. Well, 799,000 Philippine pesos to be exact. Hey. 1,000 pesos is still 1,000 pesos. Sorry, I'm worse than Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan put together. My wife tells me all the time. So does my son and my daughter. Wow, even my mom. Just 13 and a half feet long and a little over five and a half feet wide, the quirky little tyke puffs its chest out best it can with a wide grille and large headlamps above a series of cuts and lines just below. Now the doors, windows, and 190 millimeters of ground clearance do their best to try and exaggerate its five foot three and a half inch height. Fittingly designed 17-inch wheels wrapped in 50 series tires add a bit of charm to its side profile and the four-wheel disc brakes give it a boost of confidence. It's the rear that kind of catches me off guard. The lights could have been better and the pillars over here, it throws me off because, well, it's kind of straight. It doesn't give it a more sporty look to it by being a little bit more angled. Now, by doing that, Obviously, what they've done is maximize the amount of cargo space that they can squeeze out of a car that, well, isn't very large. You have 230 liters of space here. Now, if you were to remove the tonneau, which I tried, unfortunately, you still can't get a bullet buy-in box in there. But luggage for, let's say, four passengers on a quick trip, I don't think that's going to be an issue. When you fold the second row, however, that's completely different because you're looking at over a thousand liters of space. Okay, so power windows, cup holders on the door, and that's the extent of the toys back here, unfortunately. There are no air vents up front, no charging point, and no center armrest. There are Isofix tethers, which is nice if you're a small family, but really nothing else. The space, however, is not so bad. This is Jack's normal driving position, and I still have a decent amount of legroom. I'm very tiny, so I can cross my legs. But look at the way that I'm sitting. My legs are at a 90 degree angle, and there is thigh support. So you're sitting quite high as to what the design of the car is. And that thing that about the back that I don't like, the, the, the shape of the rear, that's okay because look at the amount of headroom that I still have. It's a good trade-off. But really, there's not much else to be talking about back here. So four passengers in here inside the car, no issues. A fifth, not going to be a problem if it's a very short trip around the city because there's barely, or even if there is, a tunnel at all. But really, that's about it. Very, very simple. When you hop in up front, it most certainly has a sunroof. It most certainly has cruise control. But the interior is, well, don't exactly expect to invite dignitaries over, no. But it's something that you'd be proud of to show off to your friends. Because whether there is a lot of plastics or not, which is, yes, it is, but there are still a lot of soft touches around, like on the dash, the seats, the steering wheel, even that feels good. Um, it's simple but it functions as such as well. For instance, the uh, gauge cluster in the center, it's a digital screen, but it's very, very simple, and it's only of the same size as your infotainment. The infotainment is only a seven-inch touchscreen, but 
the thing about it is, is that it only has Mirror Link. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. More on that a little bit later. When you move down below, there's a few panel blacks that's found on the gear shifter and on the steering wheel as well. Can't get away from that. But what I do like is that the aircon controls are very easy to find, very easy to use, and it's got a nice touch to it. Like, well, my wife tells me that it feels like a golf ball, and she's actually right. Then you have your manual parking brake and a cubby in the center. Now, back to the infotainment system. This might actually come back to kind of bite Chang'an because other cars in this price point have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I would believe other people out there would trade in the sunroof just for that. And it's important to Gen Xers and millennials and whatnot to have that feature. These cars, although they're much more affordable, have this system. They unfortunately don't have what this car has, which is ground clearance and a fourth cylinder, which really makes a world of difference. And that's what I want to get to right now. Do consider subscribing to our channel because we create all these videos just for you guys. Oh, and one last thing, not for anything, but um, I kind of miss manual or physical keys rather. This kind of reminds me of the laser cut keys of Mercedes so many years ago, like when Jack was still in diapers kind of a thing. I'm not saying it's a Mercedes, but you know what I mean. It's nice. I like that. Flip. Flip. Additional amenities up front will be two ball holders on either side, two more in the center. You got a 12 volt socket and of course a type A USB charging point. The engine only pushes out 105 horses and 145 newton meters of torque, which to be honest with you, isn't a lot. But I think it is adequate for the car because it weighs less than 1,250 kilograms. Now, the traffic inside the city has been bad lately, so I've only been able to return about eight kilometers per liter. I figure once that clears up, maybe you can push it to about nine and a half. Much better on the highway at 18 kilometers per liter. That figure also could do a bit better if you were to keep it below 100 kilometers per hour because at 100, this car is at 3,000 revolutions per minute. At 80, you're probably doing about maybe 2,600, 2,700. But still, 18 kilometers per liter on the highway, not bad. But really, it's the four cylinder that you will most likely enjoy the most because other automobiles in this class, this category, and this price carry around three cylinders. Whereas here, as I mentioned, four. What that translates to is that there's a lot less vibrations you get from the vehicle, whether you're in traffic, whether you're stopped, or on the highway. It's just a lot smoother, really. It's mated to a five-speed DCT. Outright, not one of my favorites. But because it's not overwhelmed with power, it's actually not all that bad. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. It still does creep up on you when you're stuck in traffic. But it's not something that I am completely up in arms over. It's something that, yeah, I can live with. It does behave better when there's more weight inside because the suspension is a bit on the firm side, but the steering is actually quite light, but it's zippy enough to have a little fun with it. Loaded with what it can, the CS15 is a justifiable option with a total experience that surpasses even entry-level vehicles at the exact same price. It does do well to stretch your peso for that bargain that you're looking for. If and when you're ready, head on over to autodeal.com.ph or our app to get you connected to dealers of Chang'an nationwide to help you get the best car at the best price.